Hi guys, um, just wanted to talk about some safe and more effective tarantula rehousing techniques that um, not really anybody that I see on YouTube is doing. Um, so I figured I'd make a video that way I could show other people. Um, <clears throat> because the days of the catch cup, I mean, honestly, you're going to experience a lot of escapes and uh, it's not really safe. I mean, there's a lot of complications people run into and uh, a lot of tarantulas get out you know so uh, to try to avoid that um you know me and my father we actually kind of came up with something you know i'm sure there's other people out there that may have thought of something similar but this is just our method and how we do it um and i'm going to demonstrate obviously not with one of my real teas um because i don't want you know anything to go wrong but um here we are with one of my enclosures i made just some glued orchid bark to the bag on a clear store kind of exoterra feel um anyways the whole method of what we do that seems to be a lot more foolproof than you know coax it into a catch cup and hope for the best um so let me demonstrate um we have our lid on our clear store you take that off and then what i use is just some gallon ziplocs and what you do is you take your ziploc you secure it around the base of your clear store. You got your tarantula in there. You're wanting to rehouse. You quickly put your Ziploc over top. And then you tighten it down. Get a little bit of a twist on it. It might take a little bit of playing. But if you have it on there and you get it on there quick, you shouldn't have to worry about anything getting out on you while you're doing it. Um, now the way I like to do it for securing is just kind of take my bag and crumple it, not inside the cage, but just to the top, and then take my hand over top of it and a rubber band, and it's a quick seal. It's going to tighten down that bag, put it nice and secure over top of there, so that's not coming off. That's right on all the lip of the cage, and when I pull the bag, I can even pull on the bag a little bit and it's not coming off. And then what I did is I took a hole, put it right there, let me um, grab my tongs. Now I only have my tongs laying around, but you can use a paintbrush, put it right in that bag, put it down into the enclosure, through the hole in the bag, and now you have a seal. That tarantula comes running it's bolting up into the bag once you've got it into the bag you tighten it down hold your rubber band around it make sure that there's no escapees by just putting a little bit of pressure you can even take your tweezers put it across hold it pinch it closed if you're worried about your fingers once it's nice and secure you pull it off and you tighten down your bag your tarantula is not going to get out you're gonna have it in a secure location while you're able to work freely inside of the, the enclosure. And uh, I mean, I've used this bag for multiple rehouses on my Venezuelan Sun Tiger. I've used it on my uh, Goody Sapphire Ornamental. Um, I've also used it on my OBT. So with that being said, it's effective with some of the most aggressive, fast, dangerous species you're still gonna be able to get them into this bag pinch off the bag seal it and then have free range to work within the enclosure put the bag back on coax it back in and put your lid on and you're all done all right guys well I hope this was informative and I hope it helped